Hello subscribers, I'm back with another tutorial. This time, I'm going to do a space scene. There are lots of these tutorials out there on the internet, thousands of them literally, showing you how to create the stars, and then there are some that specifically do um, nebulas, and then there are some on planets, and I'm going to just do something that encompasses all of those things. So I've got my canvas here. This is my screen size, 1440 by 900. I know that's weird. And I'm going to flood fill this background with black. Completely black. We're going to start out by making the stars. And on this black canvas, we're going to go up here to Effects, Noise, Add Noise. I like to add it to about 15 or so and make it Gaussian so that you get these white speckles all over the place. And you can say OK to that. And then we immediately go up here to uh, Image, Adjust, and Levels. If we drag the black node up this way, you'll notice that it starts getting rid of some of the some of those specks. And you drag the white one down, some of the brighter stars start to appear. See? And then you slide the middle one up toward the white, just to kind of even things out a little bit. And that looks pretty good, so we're going to leave it at that. So we have our background star pattern. We are going to add a layer to this. And we are going to fill this layer now with plasma. And we'll just adjust this a little bit, make it a little bit more grainy. Try to pick one. This is going to be our nebula, so we're going to try to pick something here that, that looks pretty good. Nebulous. We'll say OK to that one. And I'm going to go pause for a second. Right up here to the top, we're going to go and get uh, image, adjust, brightness, and contrast. And we're going to take the con brightness down, like this. And we're going to take the contrast up, just to make a little bit better delineation between darks and light. Take the brightness down a little bit more like that. Okay, we're going to say OK to that. And we're going to go back to the bottom layer. And we're going to turn it off for a second. And we're going to add a new layer, like just under the top layer. The top layer, I'm going to set the blend mode to lightness. Just like that. And now we're going to go to this middle layer here. And I'm going to grab myself a brush. Yeah, this looks good. This is what I was using before. The size is pretty large, 208. Uh, normal, just uh, just like that. And we're going to start picking some colors here. Let's go first with this little orangey color. And we're going to start drawing, remember, on the center layer. And we just go like, let's say we want this to be sort of orange colored, like that, right? And it looks nice. And then we're just going to add more of these, go to more reddish color here. And changing it up a little bit as we go. And we're going to just go beet red. And in here like this. <coughs> Maybe we'll jump over to blue real quick. Really pretty blue up in there. Up in the sky up here. It looks pretty nice as blue. And we'll go to green. And the greenish in here. Just keep doing this until you get exactly the kind of nebula that you want. Yes, you're all, it's your nebula, it should look the way you want it to. 
I'll go back to green again. Do a little bit more out this way. Kind of a purple. And we'll go more pinky purple. Get some of this pinkish out here. Get some of that. Something like this. You just keep painting away until you get exactly what you want. And that's a nice bright pink right through there. <laughs> blue again. Bluish. Really pretty bluish right through here. And we're just going to leave it like that. That looks kind of nice. We're then going to merge these two together. It's by going over here and saying merge visible. And then we're going to turn our background stars on and then change the blend mode again to screen for this top layer. And as you can see now, we can see stars through our nebula. And if you wanted to, of course, you can adjust the opacity even more to make it look, you know, dimmer or whatever. But I like it at full brightness. Okay. Now, move on to the next step. Now that we have our nebula done, a little bit of blur on that will probably help. Um, you can just pick what you want. Sometimes a little zoom blur is nice. Or just Gaussian again to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try a little zoom here in the center. But not too much, okay? Just a little bit. To... Yeah, something, something along those lines. Maybe a little bit more. Than it. There we go. Okay. Now that we have that done, we're going to add another layer. And we're going to add our first planet. Now this is where things get interesting. We're going to be using... Plasma again. We're going to use plasma again to fill in the new layer. And remember, this this layer of plasma is going to be for our first planet. So again, we're going to make it a little bit grainier. Just try to find something that looks sort of planet-like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll stick with that and say OK. Now, this is the fun part. We go up here to our circle, our ellipse selection tool. I'm going to need my keyboard for a few seconds. Press Control. And we're just going to make a circle in here. Just like that. Oh, excuse me. The feather is set high. So we're going to get rid of that. And do that one more time. Let's try that again. Here we get a nice, perfect circle. And once we have that circle, we're going to go right up here to Effect, Distort, Sphere. And we're going to drag this little node all the way to one end. Like that. We'll say OK. And we're going to repeat that effect just by clicking it at the top of the Effects menu. That's a nice big round ball. We simply go down here to mask, and we click that, and now we have a planet. Now, obviously, this planet just looks like a big gray ball at this point, but we're going to obviously change that by going to our layer effects. Layer effects will allow us to do a lot of things with this. 
first we're going to turn that on. We are going to separate these two sliders by clicking the plus sign. We're going to take the blur way up, up about 3, 320 or so, and the depth way up to about, eh, 240 looks good. We're going to add a pattern map. Now, we're going to go to 3D lighting first. Change the lighting to, like, the upper, upper side here. Something along those lines. Make sure we get it close to the edge, like that. And now we're going to go to 3D pattern map, and we're going to choose one of these uh, from the natural, and choose this one here. It looks, looks good. Looks like okay to that. I like to say dodge. Dodge is good for that. You can also try burn. Burn makes it kind of a dark red planet. I think for this one we'll go back to dodge, though. You can, of course, change this up and down to uh, see more of the gray underneath if you would need to. You can use this. You can change any of these sliders to get different, different effects, but we're going to leave that one the way it is. And we're going to go up here to drop shadow, change the angle down here like this, and we're going to make this, let's say, a really light blue color, like that, basically making our atmosphere, and we're going to go to normal, make the intensity pretty high, and there we have the atmosphere around the planet. We're also going to go to Inner Shadow. And again. Actually, we're going to stay right there. We're going to make this white. Like that. And take the blur up a little bit. A little bit on distance. that to normal. And make sure it doesn't look too solid though. So we're gonna take the distance back down. We just want like a light right on the edge here. Make it look really bright. Tensity's up a little high. Just like that. Now if you're really feeling adventurous you can also go to um 3D bump map, and, you know, play around with this a little bit, came to the bumping, slide these around, make them very soft. Make this real soft. <laughs> Just to get some extra. <laughs> you can do all kinds of things with that and play around with it. And we're going to say OK. And then we're going to use our deform tool here. And we're going to click Shift and scale our plant down. Maybe something more like that. Yeah, it can be a little bit bigger. We do want to just push it slightly off of there. And that's planet number one. Now, we're going to need... Actually, we're going to move this down just a little bit. More like this. And if we want another planet, we can add it another layer. 
like this. Do another plasma. Go in there. We just basically to duplicate what we just did. Like that. Ah, let's make this one a little softer then. And like that. And we just bring our selection back up. Reselect. I am going to move it over here a little bit though. Just going to move it over this way a little bit. I like that. I like that section better. Like there. Okay. Effects. Distort. Sphere. Again. And do it again. Click mask. And we have our second planet. Deselect that. Time. We're going to do three of the effects. Set everything approximately the same. Yeah, 320 or whatever it was. Three. Everything about the same. A little bit different. We're going to change the angle of the light this time because our final light is going to be somewhere in this area in the background. Yeah, so we'll leave that at that. I'm going to decrease the specular, the shininess a little bit on this, though. Decrease. Like that. Put that more out on the edge. Okay. And again, 3D pattern map. This time we'll choose, let's see, something. Maybe something in the default? Nah, nothing in the default. How about a greenish planet? Something that's a greenish. Like burn. Well, this would definitely be a green planet. Take that slightly down a little bit. Okay. And we're going to add again some 3D bump map to that. Head up some like that. Again, we want to do our drop shadow. This time we'll put down here. Make it um, greenish. This sort of green light. That distance, like that, and intensity, like that, and our inner shadow, Let me shrink this one down. It's a deform tool. Shift. This one's going to be pretty small because it's going out here. It's going 
going way out here like this. Very nice. And this planet we're going to make special by adding a ring to it. And to do a ring around this planet, we're just going to add one more layer again. And we're going to go back to that pesky plasma and use it one more time. Pick one like that, maybe something like that. Only this time we're going to go up to effects, distort, and twirl. And we're going to twirl this baby like that. And we may do the same thing again, just do it twice. Make a really nice twirl. Now, we are going to take our circle. We are going to put the feathering up to about 40. We're going to add the circle right inside here. Try to grab a portion of this. Make sure we get the dead center of this, which should be approximately there. Now, if we've done this right, we can simply go up here and oh, say invert and clear. Like that. Now, we're going to invert. We are going to scale this down some. Because we're going to make a hole. We're going to make a hole in the center. We're going to make it a little bit smaller than that. You <coughs> will put that right back in there again. Like that. And select the circle and say clear. We're going to get rid of select. Deselect that. And we've made a very nice little circle there. We're using our deform tool. <coughs> we are now going to adjust it by picking Alt and Control and Shift. We're going to squeeze these back ends in like this. A little bit more like that. Turn these off for a second. Squish it up like that. And we're going to rotate it a little bit. Just move that right over here. Line it up with your planet. You basically want to have an equal distance between the sides and these edges. And maybe about like that. And then we're just going to zoom in on this. Take ourselves the eraser tool, and we're just going to erase this out. And if you want to, you can play around with this. Sometimes making it uh, scream makes it look a little bit more like uh, rings around the planet. And there you have it. Well, no, we're not done quite yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to add at least back here 
I'm gonna merge down from there. There's merge down. And I'm gonna add one lens effect here. One lens flare. <coughs> Popping right up in here. Somewhere about there. I like to use the big white one like that. And make it make it brighter. Nice and bright like that. And say OK. And there, we're done. A really quick and nice space scene. I hope you enjoyed that. This one may be a little bit long for most people. Maybe even YouTube. Anyway, happy painting, everybody. <laughs>